So when President Obama was running for president in 2008, one of his big things, he said it over 40 times, was that we need to have a system that rewards good teachers and fires bad ones. But the question is always, how do you find the bad ones? So is it test scores? Probably not. Is it you know, peer evaluation? The best metric is you have teachers grade teachers and you have parental input. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm going to be reacting to Charlie's Skeptics on Pro Leftist Stitcher. Guys, let's get straight into this. Hi, so I just wondered to know what your take was on, you said with education to fire the bad teachers. What's your definition of bad teachers? Great question. So how many people here think you've had at least one teacher that deserves to be fired? Everyone raises their hand always. always. Um, so the question is how do you find them, right? So I got this question asked a lot. Here's the interesting thing. So when President Obama was running for president in 2008, one of his big things, he said it over 40 times, was that we need to have a system that rewards good teachers and fires bad ones. But the question is always, how do you find the bad ones? So is it test scores? Probably not. Is it you know, peer evaluation? The best metric is you have teachers grade teachers and you have parental input. Here's the thing. You know the really, really bad teachers. The, those have got to go. I had teachers earning $150,000 a year, barely showing up for class, teaching gym, Whoa. doing nothing, being completely lazy. They're a drain on the school budget. They're a drain on the local community and they should be fired instantaneously. The problem is, under current teacher tenure laws in certain states, in most states, they are protected by, by contracts designed by teacher unions that make it nearly impossible to fire bad teachers. If they're not productive, they don't put time in. So I, I would support reform and a system that allows really good teachers. Here's the thing. Some teachers, this might be a surprise to some of my liberal counterparts, so I had te public, te public school teachers that changed my life that did unbelievable amount of work. They got in at 6, 6 a.m. every day. They worked their tail off. Then I had teachers that would take half the year off. They just didn't care. They were, they were you know, bratty. They thought it was horrible. And yet those, the, the one that didn't put in as much effort was earning more than the person that was just there. That is not the way that we should reward I think, I believe, teachers in, in this country. Teachers are modern day heroes. I'm very, very pro-teacher, very yes. anti-teacher union. So I think that's the big distinction. So. What about professors? Yeah. Professors? Yeah, like that's, college, at the college well, that's a, I, I believe this similar thing. I think that we currently have a system that rewards professors that want to write their book and sell it back to their class. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think that's well, it's, it's a fair point. Um, it it's also rewards professors that do most studying um, and not actually engaging with their current class. Here's the problem is that most college freshmen are taught by TAs, teacher's assistants. So they're, they're getting something, they're paying for something they're not even getting. Um, it's, it, I think measuring value in a professor should be different than that of a teacher, but here's the big difference is that, that public school teachers in K through 12 education um, have to be held to a different standard than professors. It just has to be. It's a different, there's more K through 12 teachers than there are professors, a lot more, almost 10 to one ratio. Okay, but with the whole point on the TAs, they're usually doctoral students yes. that are turning into professors. So why is that a problem? How are, how are the TAs supposed to Because when you start to have class sizes that are 500 people and plus, when you have TAs that are not yet masters on the subject that you're paying a pretty penny on, that deserves question. Because you are going to college to learn from subject matter experts yes. in an environment where you can dive deep into that particular topic so on and so forth. So if I'm paying or I'm being forced to pay $800 for this sociology class or you know, human studies class or North, and I'm getting taught by a TA with 800 people in a lecture hall this big, that, that could, that there's something I think wrong with that. I think because you're, you're paying a pretty penny for something that is then you know, very, I would say, inadequate. Guys, so if I'm being honest, I believe that a lot of schools, like, they actually reward good teachers and fair about teachers. Like, I would say, my school, like, if a teacher is in bad, like, you just know because a lot of complaints are going to be going out. Like, a lot of students are going to be complaining. And, like, it was the day a teacher hit a friend of mine and, like, she called her mom instantly and he was gone the next day. I honestly believe that bad teachers, I don't know why it's hard. They were like, I honestly believe in the school I went to, like, if a teacher is not doing well, you are out. Like, it's that simple. Like, if everybody's grade is down, like, they will know they are unable to pass 
imparting to the kids and let's say they ask questions and it's not actually your fault it's the kids fault like everybody will be honest because you cannot get because there are going to be trustworthy students in the class that you, let's say the principal and like the assistant principal they expect to be truthful let's say five students that they know are truthful so you can't tell me that five of them will hate on you like it's possible though if you're a jerk but like it's it's slim for five people to hate on you and i still believe that teachers are superheroes like teacher can make you or break you and this is something that some teachers don't know actually because there are some teachers there are some hateful things a teacher will tell you and it will just keep be your drive for like the next 10 years like you trying to prove him wrong or you you settling down for the fact that he told you that now i feel like you're you are not good enough i I see that thing is heartbreaking and it can destroy a student's life. You telling him that you, you won't amount to anything or stuff like that. Like teachers are wicked. Even the good ones sometimes they hate on some students. Like I feel we, we are humans and there are some things we just see based on anger. But like teachers also be aware that they're talking to children. And they're in this state of mind where they are learning. What you are saying is making them more like the information they have is what they're building upon. Like, if you're telling them negative things, like, they'll be building upon it and they'll grow up to be, like, things we don't want in society. But guys, always think about this. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.